What's up YouTube, it's Coach Corey, and today it's been a while since I've done a ranking or tier list for Robo Rumble. So I'm going to tell you guys who the best brawlers are in Robo Rumble, who you should be using, who you shouldn't, and all of that. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, so starting out, let's start out at the bottom, but I'm going to go through the bottom pretty fast. Let's go over a bunch at once, because let's be honest, there's a good amount of brawlers you don't even want to use at all in Robo Rumble. So, let's start out. We're going to go over 19 through 13 right away. It's going to be Mortis, Piper, Poco, Brock, Bo, Tara, and Nita. I'm really, really going to recommend you don't ever use those brawlers in Robo Rumble. At the least how Robo Rumble is right now, you definitely don't want to. What it comes down to, what Robo Rumble comes down to a lot of times is how much damage per time, damage per second each brawler can do. You have to have a high DPS to be a viable brawler in Robo Rumble. Being able to hit multiple brawlers at once can help that. A lot of these guys don't have that ability. On top of that, you now need a good amount of health to do well in Robo Rumble because later on, those huge tank boxer robots just charge right in at you and you need the health to be able to survive that and the range robots and even the fast guys as well. So all those brawlers don't have those attributes for the most part. So I'd really, really recommend not to use them. All right, now let's go over the next three. I told you we're gonna go through this fast. So we're gonna go through 10, 11, and 12, all the ones. I'm gonna recommend you not use these either, but they're definitely a little bit better. At 12, we have Crow, we have Jesse at 11, and 10, we have Spike. All these brawlers are usable, but I'm still gonna recommend you not to use them, mainly because they don't have enough damage and they don't have enough health. So their damage is decent for the most part. Spike, you can get good utility, you can hit multiple brawlers. The super's okay, but even with the bull rods, they now can go out of his super fairly easily, so he's still not as usable. Jesse, not enough health, not enough damage. Same thing with Crow, not enough health, not enough damage. They're decent, you could use them and do well, but I'm gonna not recommend it. All right, now we're getting into the brawlers that are pretty decent, but these next two, they're still not great. So let's go over these two all at once as well. At nine, we have Barley and at eight we have dynamite so it used to be barley was one of the kings of Robo rumble not so anymore with the recent health increases to the robots and the bull robots charging in barley is no longer quite as good he, there's no longer robots being grouped up as much actually barley and dynamite no longer quite as good robots aren't grouping up nearly as much the one exception with throwers is they're still pretty decent at targeting ranged robots. Some other brawlers struggle with this as a lot of times you end up using auto aim and they're just going to target the melee guys who are much closer and those ranged guys can be pesky and they can take, they can do a lot of damage to you while you're spending a lot of time killing those high health melee robots. Throwers are not bad because they can deal with those range guys pretty decently because they can obviously just throw over the melee guys pretty well and target those guys. Additionally, they can do it without getting hit for the most part. So they're not bad. You can definitely, definitely use them. Um, I don't love them though. I don't think they're great. I think they're not bad. Okay, after this though, all the other brawlers are all pretty good to really good and I'm definitely going to recommend you use any of these brawlers and you will have pretty good success if you're with a good or decent team. Alright starting out at 7 we have the first tank and that's Daryl. Daryl to me is a good amount weaker than the other tanks because his damage ends up being a good amount worse just because his reload is pretty slow so at the beginning of the game he's Daryl, don't get me wrong, Daryl is a strong option. I definitely recommend using him. I just think he's worse than the other tanks. He's at 7 for a reason because his reload is honestly pretty slow and his supers really, really hardly ever useful. You can technically use it if you're trying really hard and you're looking for specific opportunities to use it. But even then, it's like just okay and you end up out of position most of the time. So that combined with a slow reload makes Daryl, he's still pretty good, but he's not amazing. All right, going in at number six, we have another brawler who used to be one of the kings of Robo Rumble, and that's 
Ricochet. So Ricochet is still a pretty decent option because he does a lot of damage. As I said, damage is king and Robo Rumble. You have to be able to kill those robots as fast as possible, especially now since they have so much health. Now, the one thing is, you can't have too many brawlers with low health. So Ricochet, a pretty good option, but he has easily the lowest health in the game. And honestly, the biggest thing that impacts him, in my opinion, is the nerf to his range. If he had another two tiles back to his range, he would be even better of an option. He might move up a slot or two on the rankings. He would be just as good as Colt. You'll see what Colt is. Ricochet is still a pretty good option, though. I just wouldn't have too many low health guys on your team. All right, now at number five, we have a brother who actually got a nerf recently, but I still really like in the current Robo Rumble, and that's Shelly. Shelly able to deal with the melee brawlers very, very well, and the boxer bull charging robots. Shelly does pretty well against. She does a lot of love, a lot of damage at close range. Obviously, as a shotgun brawler, she's definitely a strong option. She's very versatile, and the one thing with Shelly's, unlike the other tanks, she gets extra damage from her super, so she can use her super to charge her next super and do even more damage than the other tanks. The only exception, of course, is she doesn't have the same health of them, so that's where she's a little bit weaker than some of the tanks. She does more damage, but has less health. So Shelly, a good option Robo Rumble, especially right now in the current version. All right, now at number four, we have the last old king of Robo Rumble, and that is Colt. Colt, to me, is still a really, really good option because he does the most damage in the game. It's really easy to hit your shots with him very fast, especially with auto attack. You can just spam it really easily. It's kind of stupid, but well, different video, different video. But Colt, really, really strong, and his star power helps him out a good amount. It allows him to avoid some damage on the mouse robots and get away from those boxer robots as well, at least to some degree. So Colt, a very strong option in Robo Rumble, does a little bit more damage than Ricochet, and that's probably why I see him ranked higher. And with his combined higher move speed, definitely helps him out, and even a little bit more health than Ricochet as well. All right, now we're getting into the top three brawlers for Robo Rumble. I think you're gonna be surprised by my number two. You might have already realized one of these brawlers that's not usually very high on these Robo Rumble rankings is not shown up yet. But at number three, we have Bull. So Bull got a pretty decent nerf recently. Before that nerf, he probably would have been number one. But right now, I have Bull at number three. He's still a really strong option, has a lot of health. As a shotgun brawler, he still does a ton of damage as well. His super is remotely useful. It's not great, but it is definitely useful. You can use it to get to the boss fast. You can use it to interrupt the boss. You could technically use it versus other robots as damage, but I really wouldn't recommend it that often. It has to be a certain scenario to do that, really. But Bull is really good because he has a lot of damage and health. Especially combined with his star power, he has the ability to deal a good amount of damage and in clutch situations, he can really deal it out and finish off those melee, uh, not brawlers, melee robots. He's definitely really good in those situations. I would definitely recommend having a bull on your team. At least you're going to want at least one tank on your team. You're going to want at least one damage dealer. You can have two tanks. You can even have three tanks on your team. It's definitely a lot of team comp stuff. Look at my last video if you want some team comp suggestions for Robo Rumble. Look at the card above. All right. Now for the second best brawler in Robo Rumble. Man, has this brawler risen. Typically, this brawler was only used in Smash and Grab, and that was it. But now... This brawler is one of the new kings of Robo Rumble, in my opinion. I really love the effect this brawler has on your team in Robo Rumble, and that's Pam. Pam, to me, the second best brawler in Robo Rumble right now. I love Pam right now in Robo Rumble. I think she is amazing. She just got an 11% damage buff, and I was using her in Robo Rumble before that. She is really, really good, especially with her star power. You cannot underrate her. Honestly, she makes it really, really easy to get five to six minutes every single time, if not more, just because of Pam alone. Her healing is amazing and makes it honestly pretty hard to die for the first five minutes. So I love Pam and Robo Rumble now. She has great healing and her damage is really underrated. If you are hitting all of your shots with Pam, not only are you dealing a lot of damage, let's be real, it's, it's a really good amount of damage. You deal a good amount of damage, but you're also 
getting healing up yourself and any close allies near you. So Pam combined with her turret and her star power healing does a lot of healing and good damage. The one negative to Pam is she has a little bit of a slow reload. Besides that, everything else is really good. Good damage, really good healing, and high health, which is very important in the current Robo Rumble. You really need high health to be able to last a long time. So Pam, my second best brawler in Robo Rumble. Okay, now let's go over the top brawler in Robo Rumble, the new very top king. Well, I guess the second one was actually the new queen of Robo Rumble. I should have said that. But there's a new king of Robo Rumble, and that's El Primo. How fitting, I would say. El Primo, the new best brawler in, my, in Robo Rumble, in my opinion. He has the highest health. Combine that with the ability to have a really fast reload, which allows him to have a high DPS, especially later in the game when there's just way too many robots and you're constantly attacking. On top of that, he can also hit multiple robots at once, and this is where you see him over the other uh, tank brawlers. Now, if Bull didn't have that damage nerf, he would probably be number one, but right now it's El Primo because he can hit multiple brawlers at once. He has a very fast reload, so that combined with his decent damage allows him to have a really high DPS. And he has a, the highest health in the game, so that's very, very good and really important later on. Combine that with his super, which is more useful than the other tank supers, because no matter what lane El Primo is in, he can go and help out wherever the boss is. So boss obviously spawns randomly in any of the three lanes. El Primo can be in the far, either one of the right lanes or the far left lane, and he can go all the way to the boss just with his super. So El Primo, really good in Robo Rumble, good in the early stages and good in the late stages as well. All right, guys, that's it for my ranking video for Robo Rumble. Let me know in the comments what you thought of my ranking. Were you surprised to see Pam at number two? All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you later.